What's up, everybody? So let's talk about Snoop Dogg's daughter, Corey. She had a severe stroke at the age of 24. So let's get into this article. Corey Broaddus has lupus, which has been associated with strokes in younger people because a lot of people think that you have to be an older person to have a stroke. That's not the case. Having a stroke has no age limit. Um, having a heart attack has no age limit either, right? And so a lot of people want to throw in the vax may be the issue, but in her case, she has lupus. And that's one of the things that happen with people who have lupus, right? I know several people who have lupus and I know one person for sure. She had several mini strokes since having lupus. So let's continue with the article. It says that Corey revealed on Instagram that she experienced a stroke. I had a severe stroke this morning, the 24 year old shared in her Instagram stories. I started breaking down crying when they told me Corey didn't mention more information about the stroke or how she's currently doing, though she expressed frustration about the state of her health i'm only 24 what did i do in my past to deserve all of this she wrote but you know people often think that stroke only occurs in older people but actually younger patients can also experience one right and so let's continue with this article we need to remember that 10 percent to 15 percent of stroke happens in patients younger than 50 this is coming from a doctor and endovascular neurosurgeon and assistant professor of neurosurgery, neurology, and radiology um, at the School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Everybody in the young patient population should be educated about stroke symptoms. They should take it seriously. And people really should actually learn when a stroke is coming on, seriously. I know several people, several, several people who have had strokes and some of them, they recovered well, some of them not so well, right? I um, know someone that it almost took her out. And I also know someone who had a stroke that it did take him out. So stroke is very, very serious, very serious. So let's continue with the article. When Corey was six, she was diagnosed with lupus. The autoimmune condition causes inflammation, which can lead to permanent damage in the skin, joints, heart, lungs, kidneys, blood cells, and brain, according to the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases. And some of my friends, they have lupus, and each one of them have a different type of lupus, right? Some affect their skin, some affect their joints, their hearts. It's, it's, it's really sad because they are in a lot of pain a lot of the time. System lupus, the most common type of lupus, increases the risk of stress stroke before the age of 50 according to a paper in the journal of mediterranean journal of rheumatology when you have lupus feeling achy one of the number one things you have achy joints you have arthritis corey told people in september of 2023 i have days where i'm sick but i'm still blessed and able to do what i love to do and tell my story corey said but then there's days I'm like, wow, I wish I wasn't sick. What would my life be if I was just a normal girl? It's part of being human. You're going to have bad days. You're not going to always have good days. I want to be okay, she said. We're not going to always be okay. And that's okay because we're human. But I want to be okay overall, mentally, physically. And we're going to get there. A stroke is a medical emergency and people should call 911 if they experience any symptoms of one. The American Heart Association encourages people to think fast to remember signs of stroke. F is for facial drooping. A, arm weakness. S, slurred speech. T, time equal 
brain. The quicker one gets to the hospital, the more brain saved. While having a stroke can be debilitating, people do recover from them. A stroke is the leading cause of disability and it's still one of the leading causes of death in the nation. That's the scary part. And it is very, very scary. And I really hate that for Corey because I just know people personally that that's always in pain because of their lupus. And they they are on a lot of medicines. They take a lot of medicines. They're in and out of the hospital, back and forth to the doctor. And it's very sad that she's going through that at such a very young age. And um, I just will lift her up in prayers. So what are your thoughts about this whole situation? Y'all know what y'all got to do. Comment down below the minute your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video, like this video. And y'all know what y'all got to do. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.